I hate the R3 in War Thunder. Right off the back, I have to say I hate this piece of trash, cancer. This vehicle needs to be moved to BR 5.7 and I will not settle for any less. I don't know how much vodka poisoning the intern that was doing the data entry into the War Thunder database had when they slipped up and instead of typing 5.7 BR, they put 3.7. I can't even understand why. To break it down, there are three reasons why I hate the R3. Dakar, theme and speed. Dakar is how much lead something can put down range. At 3.7 BR, this vehicle is straight up brokenly stupidly good. When it comes to SPAA, self-propelled anti-air, there are two types of DACA, Pew Pew DACA and Funk Funk DACA. Yes, this is really advanced PhD stuff I'm talking about here. Pew Pew DACA refers to machine guns and small auto cannons. It's all about having a high rate of fire and a constant stream of bullets being sent down range. This is very useful when trying to hit a small, fast-moving target, such as an aeroplane. The downside is, it's going to take more than a few rounds to bring down an aeroplane. Some planes are even armoured and they laugh at light machine guns. The other type of SBAA DACA, which is Funk Funk DACA, is heavy auto cannons such as 20mm and up. These guns fire slower, but are basically chucking bricks down range. A single 25, 30 or even 40mm round hitting a plane would blow it to pieces instantly. So we have in the range of BR 2 to 3.7, we have Pew Pew Dacker such as VM-16, Whirlwind, BTR, AEC AA and Crusader AA Mark II, also Sokai and M42. For Funk Funk Dacker, we have VM-15A1, German half-track with 3.7cm, Gaz with 2.5cm and ZIS-12 GMC with 4cm. Finally we have the M40 and L62. And then there's the goddamn motherfucking R3T20. This thing can do both. It's Pew Pew Daka and Funk Funk Daka. Basically fires a death laser beam. Jesus Christ there is nothing else at this BR which fulfills both roles. All the SBAA that I listed off have trade-offs. The R3 doesn't. It does both roles perfectly. Why would you even take the SBAA that comes before this in the Italian tech tree instead of taking this? It's only a 0.4 BR hit. But why? Why would you want this knockoff whirlwind instead of the R3? It would be silly not to take the R3 out. And don't even get me started on the cannon. That cannon can rip and tear. Its armor-piercing rounds can penetrate up to 50 millimeters of armor, which is basically 99% of all tanks side and rear armor. It's even possible to get lucky and frontal pen some tanks with the amount of bullets coming out of the hose that is called a cannon apparently. How can you even fail? Yes, most rounds will ping harmlessly off the front plate, but other shots will ricochet off shot traps and go through machine gun ports and etc. It will find a way to penetrate the front of your tank with enough time. Theme. Every SPAA listed between BR2 and 3.7 is from World War II except for one, the R3. Technically this also isn't from World War II but I don't mind as it fits in with the sort of technology of this era. There are also other ground vehicles under BR6 that aren't from World War II but at least they fit the theme of their BRs. The M56, the ASU57, the PT76 and the ARL44. I can believe they existed in the 1940s. This 1980s Star Wars rat droid with its fat ass belt fed remote controlled stabilized 20mm autocannon doesn't fit in with any of the other SPAAs at this BR. It's a 1980s vehicle so why is it playing along with 1940s vehicles? Next speed. Cap rushing is a thing in War Thunder. Basically you grab a tank and make a dash for a cap in the cheapest running vehicle you have. SBAAs cost the least amount of spawn points for any type of vehicle. You earn spawn points in ground forces realistic by dealing damage, taking damage and taking capture points. With the R3 you can spawn in, take a cap and then J out straight away and this will net you enough points to take out a fighter or an attack aircraft. If you choose to you can spawn in an R3, take a cap, spray your 20mm cannons harmlessly at an enemy, get wrecked by them and then you have enough points to spawn in a bomber. You can take other SBAAs for cap rushing, 
but every other speedy AA just isn't as good as this. They all have lower top speeds, slower acceleration, and worse performance off-road. Another thing that just mildly annoys me about the R3 is that its roof-mounted cannon can be used to engage targets directly ahead, and most SBAAs cannot normally shoot over the driver's cab. So what is the R3 doing at BR 3.7? It's not like it's bad and needs to be at such a low BR. It can compete at higher BRs. I know it does seem to be a knee-jerk reaction to move it so far up the tech tree, but anyone that's played the R3 knows that it could do a very solid job at 5.7 and up. I know moving it to BR seems drastic and yes, it is, but I cannot fathom why it's at BR 3.7 in the first place. So yes, rant almost over. In summary, the R3 T20 has a very good cannon that fires 20mm rounds at an unholy rate for its BR. It doesn't fit in with any of the other vehicles at its current BR. It's a 1980s vehicle playing with early 1940s vehicles. Speed! It's just fast as heck. Ideal for cap rushing and getting that guaranteed bomber. This has been my TED talk on why I hate the R3 and why it should be moved to BR 5.7. Thank you for watching. Please consider using my 3% off link if you plan on buying something on the War Thunder store. If you use my link, you get 3% off the Gaijin store and you also get my decal if you haven't got it already for some reason. But of course you got my decal, it's adorable as heck.